Okay, guys. No surprise in this at all, because you know I'm my uh, fascination with diggers and shovels and and uh, and to some degree knives, uh, to a large degree knives as well. And this is the magical mastiff. It's another survival shovel. Uh, I purchased something that didn't quite work out, so uh, I, I got the refund and a gift certificate because it's coming up close to Christmas, and I knew I'd want enough money to buy something not exactly practical. So I decided to invest in uh, in uh, a gift certificate instead of asking for a refund back. You go, let's get the box out of the way. And as usual, it's a very dramatic uh, box we get from, uh, from some of our Chinese manufacturers. And there it is, the magical mastiff. So let's take a, a look at that. Uh, unlike uh, quite a few of the survival shovels that come with bags, this one comes in the bag. I think the only other one I really noted was that there was a small shovel that I noted that also did that. But there are not many that do this. Shipped them in the bag. It's got to be something of a manufacturing pain. To put them in bags, but take this. Not a bag, not a bad bag. Both a flap and a zipper. Maybe one of the better bags I've seen around here. Let's take this out. Alright. Large blade for the survival knives. There. Other component. If it's missing, I'm missing anything else in here. Alright. Got a couple of screw bits. A tourniquet, which I have yet to find a use for in the environments where I detect. And here we go. It's pretty cool. Now this is the the saw blade and knife. The saw and knife blade that you find in quite a few of these. And unlike most, that's a pretty sharp knife. Uh, I don't know if it'll even pass the ancient, the ancient uh, paper test. Well, it will to some degree, but it, it's also tearing, so it, it could be a lot sharper. Sharper, and I probably will make it some sharper as time goes by. And in any case, these are the two bits. There is a, a straight bit and a two-ended bit, a straight bit and a uh, Phillips head. And let's take a look at the blade here. As it is one of those uh, multiple position survival shovels, I can tell. Uh, it has it has a little slot down here. You can see closely here, and these slots these slots will fit into various positions. That position, this position, and then a straight position, traditional shovel position. So that's pretty cool. Don't need much of practice uh, reviewing these. I've seen them all to some great degree. This is a pretty standard and a heavy blade as these survival shovels go. Yeah, a pretty heavy blade, yeah. So here we go. I'm going to screw it up here so you can see how it, it locks. So this, this, will, this is the pure shovel lock position. Put it out here. Take it back. Move it into another position. that position and this is more of a a rake or pick position okay, let me uh, put the rest of it together here this is a pretty long shovel as these shovels go
So this becomes much more of a outdoors or wilderness type shovel rather than a uh, rather than a traditional digger type shovel. So this 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 thing has got pretty good length here. Okay, now we got it fully maxed out there. Now let me uh, unscrew it from the top here and give the blade the full extension. And we'll see what we've got. I'll put the full extent in the, in the, you should be sitting it on the, uh, so that's a, that's a substantial little piece there. This is uh, my forearm. So it's up to, it's up beyond my forearm. It's up, up beyond my forearm, beyond my uh, elbow. And it's the beginning of my bicep. So that's a pretty sizable little shovel. Breaks down pretty good. Very good bag. I was worried, you know, when you buy these, there's some very, there's an intense amount of similarity. But I do like this one. This one is more of a road type shovel. So I probably will be putting it in my car if I have to dig something out, etc. It's not perfect. It, uh, it has traditional shortcomings of a survival shovel, but not quite as bad because it does have actually a shovel. It's not a blade like quite a few of these shovels are. And it, it, it also rolls to the front and to the back. And it's reasonably sharp up top, but not ridiculously so. And then the common serrations and the, the centimeter uh, measurements there. All right, I just wanted to show that one, so it's called the uh, Magical Mastiff. Uh, I'll put some uh, information down in the link. This was a uh, Amazon purchase, and the, you know the names on these things vary, and the design may be very similar or the same, but I want you to take a quick look at it and see what you think about it. In any case, uh, I will uh, be back with you later with uh, more stuff and I will be back with more digs in the very near future. I am chomping at the bit and I am pretty sure I can get out there real soon. You guys have a wonderful day.